A decision was made about 30 years ago to move to higher and higher magnetic field strengths for MRI, mainly for the purpose of performing high-resolution neuroimaging in the brain. But for my applications, which are imaging the heart, lung, and performing MRI-guided interventions, we decided to do the counterintuitive thing. While everyone else was going higher, we decided to go lower. I'm Dr. Adrian Campbell-Washburn, and I lead the MRI technology program for the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute. Since my postdoc days, I've been developing new technologies to make imaging faster by sampling data more efficiently. Traditional MRI systems usually sample images line by line to fill up the lines of a grid inside your image, but instead we're filling up that grid in a more efficient way using either spirals or zigzags. Because the lower magnetic field is more uniform, the signal that we create lasts longer. This allows us to increase our flexibility in how we're imaging. Historically, we've also been limited by a lack of computational power, but now we have readily available high-performance computers, and this allows us to generate higher quality images from less. We're discovering new interesting things every day. MRI of the lung has been notoriously difficult because the air tissue interfaces distort the magnetic field. But on this low field system, we can see these beautiful, clear images of the pathology in the lung and the tissue in the lung. And then when we have people inhale oxygen, that signal in the lung gets even brighter. This allows us to probe into the function of the lung by trying to see where the oxygen is going. If we do the same thing on a traditional MRI system, we get a little bit of an increase, but nothing substantial. The effect is much greater at lower field. People have been trying to move MRI-guided interventions into the clinic for a long time, but the problem is those procedures are generally not safe on a traditional MRI system because those metallic devices that we need to use to navigate through the arteries and veins would heat. Low field MRI is safer because it doesn't create as much heating. And so for conductive devices, like interventional devices, pacemakers and defibrillators, this is a big deal. The idea of making all of those devices and re-engineering them safely for an MRI system is a big undertaking. So instead, we decided to make our MRI system inherently safe for the devices that are already available, rather than redesigning every single tool. Another benefit of low field MRI system is that it's intrinsically cost effective. It costs less to manufacture, to install, and to maintain. So this may allow MRI to be more accessible all over the world. We really hope that this technology is gonna make a real impact on human health because it will make MRI more accessible, will allow us to do more complex structural interventions under MRI guidance. And it'll allow us to see things we've never seen before.